Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Cloud Pilot, and today I'm excited to share my journey of becoming a certified Kubernetes administrator. If you are considering taking this challenging certification, stick around because I'll be discussing my personal experience, study resources, and uh, the best way to prepare. Before we jump into the nitty gritty of the exam, let me give you a quick overview of my journey. As someone who passed the CKD exam, I felt confident about tackling the CKA exam. I had some prior experience with Kubernetes, which gave me a head start, and I decided to take uh, Mumshat's Certified Kubernetes Administrator course on CodeCloud. Now, let's discuss the CKA exam itself. The CKA program endorsed by CNCF validates your skills and knowledge as a Kubernetes administrator. So this exam is fully hands-on and it makes it essential to have a deep understanding of Kubernetes. The cost of the exam is $375, but there are frequent discounts available at several seasons. The exam is an online proctored performance-based test where you will solve several tasks in within a two-hour time frame. To prepare for the exam, I highly recommend using the Killer Shell sessions. These emulator sessions are incredibly useful for gauging your readiness. The questions on Killer Shell can be challenging, but remember, aiming for a score above 90% is a great goal. The exam covers various topics with different weights. Cluster architecture installation and configuration covers around 25%. Workloads and scheduling covers around 15%. Services and networking alone covers around 20%. Storage takes another 10% and troubleshooting takes around 30% of the overall exam. Let's dive into my study strategy that helped me succeed. Week 1 was about focusing on Mumsha CKA course and practice labs on CodeCloud. Second week was about engaging in killer sessions, revisiting the concepts, and taking mock tests. On the day of the exam, I felt well prepared due to my practice with the killer shell. This confidence translated to the exam itself, where I found the questions manageable and finished ahead of time. However, you should note that the exam environment provided by PSI might not be the smoothest. Scrolling inside the desktop can be a bit challenging. I recommend using a larger monitor for better visibility because you can visit the Kubernetes documentations inside your exam environment and scrolling inside that desktop environment can be a challenge. Here are some of the key tips that helped me succeed as well as would help you succeed. Manage your time wisely throughout the exam. Utilize imperative commands like kubectl get pods instead of writing a YAML file. You can skip setting up kubectl aliases because now it comes pre-installed. And you have to carefully read and understand the context of each question. So in my journey of CKA and CKAD, only three resources have proved to be helpful. One is Mumshad's course on CodeCloud, the killer shell emulator for practice, as well as the killer coda for an additional practice. And I received the pass result the next day and got my certificate, which is valid for three years. My journey to becoming a certified Kubernetes administrator, along with tips and insights that I believe will greatly benefit you in your pursuit. Remember, the CKA exam is challenging, but incredibly rewarding certification. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with fellow enthusiasts and subscribe for more insightful content. Thanks for tuning in and best of luck on your CKA journey.